Good morning, Downtown Church. Thank you for joining us today. As we enter the final week of our month of prayer and daily devotions, we are going to consider what we should surrender to God. Have you ever had this conversation with God? It ain't much, but it's all I've got. And God answered, it's all I ever wanted. If you have found yourself praying just a little more than normal over these last few weeks, or even if you're still working on consistency, that's okay. I bet you're a little bit more conscious about your prayer life. And that's the whole point of this month. The goal of this month is for you to know that God is just a prayer away. And He wants us to engage in an ongoing conversation with Him. But here's the question. Why do you think He wants us to talk to Him regularly? There could be a lot of answers to this question. But here's one that I think matters the most. He wants us to be aware of every second of every day how He wants us to talk and walk and move and operate, how to feel and work and play and be a mother or be a father and to take risks and to give and so on and so forth. He wants us to know what He wants so we can be more like Him. And prayer opens the door for us to empty ourselves of anything that's not like Him and make room for Him to fill us up. So why should we care about that question? Well, His glory brings us the greater good. If you have no other prayer today to pray, feel free to pray this one. Lord, empty me of me so I can be filled with you. This week, as we yield to God, we commit ourselves to surrender to Him. Now, let me ask you. Does this word surrender make you nervous or uncomfortable? If so, it's ultimately because you don't trust God to do a better job with the pieces of your life than you can. I know that's hard to hear. But surrender is hard if you've been doing okay by yourself. Now, you may think that if you surrender to Him, He may ask you to move to a a different state or in a different direction or a different country or even a different content. And he may not give you the desires of your heart. It's scary to think that. Surrender can be scary. But it's the only way to move with God into the life that he has for you. This morning, I want you to talk to God about surrendering the relationships in your life. Some of these are are very brave prayers. These are brave prayers to pray because true surrender means that your life might change. What if he tells you the person that you've been dating is not the one that he wants you to marry? What if he asks you to keep your lips zipped about some bad habits of your spouse or maybe speak up about them? What if he asks you not to interfere with your adult child's life because, well, he's got it? What if he wants you to cut ties with a toxic friend? Now, I know it's uncomfortable. But maybe there's a person that you'll meet next summer, maybe even next month, who is exactly the person that God has chosen for you. Maybe your restraint is what will finally allow your spouse to own their problems. Maybe God is at work in the heart of your child in ways that you can't see. And maybe pausing or ending a codependent relationship is what your friend needs in order to get help and to be well. This week is about yielding to God and surrendering our life fully to Him. Our prayer today is more of Him and less of me. I must decrease so He can increase. Let that go with you today. In Jesus' name, have a great day.